Okay guys, this is a quick video on to show how quickly you can change the health of your soil utilizing cover crops. These uh, three uh, corn plants come from three different fields. This is my neighbor's field. Um, this came from this field. Sorry, the third one came from this field uh, to the south. This one comes from this field uh, to the north. And then this one comes from the irrigated circle to the south of this one. So this one was cover crops in 2017. 2018 it was corn, 2019 it was cover crops again, and then now 2020 we planted this corn. And you can see all the aggregates in here and look, there's a earthworm in there. Um, this is the first earthworm I found or, I mean, first year we found earthworms on this uh, soil, but we stopped using anhydrous, so our earthworm population's coming back. Look at all the aggregates in the soil, and look how darker this one is compared to this one. Okay, so this is this is just conventional tillage. This uh, field was tilled, and they planted corn right into it. You can see there's no structure to this soil. There's no aggregates. So, like here, you can see the crumblies and you can see that the difference that's thicker darker that's lighter and no no structure in it um and then this one this one was tilled in 18 and then we planted corn into it much like this and then um uh in 2018 we started with the cover crops and um yeah sorry 18 was tilled planted the corn 19 it was cover crops and you can see even in the 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 just from 19 until now, uh, how much structures we're getting in there just from doing the cover crops. Um, and so these, we do our best to have a living root in the ground at all times with our irrigated circles. And in the short amount of time, this is how much it's changed our soil from being like this to being like this. And this is literally 15 steps into that field, 15 steps into that field, and we're seeing this much of a difference already.